Hello people, good mornings, another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good or excellent. Hey. What's up Steam Deck fans, Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck nation, Steam Deck universe, Steam Deck world, Steam Deck legion, what's good? Steam Deck mob, what's happening? Steam Deck squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks and freaks, and you investigators, 32 gigs of RAM, Bazite operating system, 61 terabytes of storage. Yeah. <laughs> Those people. Anyway, what's up with it? <laughs> I'm sitting here messing with y'all. All right, what do I got for you guys since we're talking about the Steam Deck here? Okay, we're talking about Call of Duty. Oh, by the way, I, I got two videos done already. This is my third one. <laughs> anyway, before, before 12 o'clock. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> look, <laughs> I got one more to do after this. Anyway, says here, uh, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Steam Deck compatible? Yes, it is. If you remember during the, the Activision Activision uh, Activision court case uh, trial with Microsoft, Activision versus the FTC, the CMA in the UK, when they gave the the streaming rights to uh, to Ubisoft, Ubisoft is responsible to bring Call of Duties to non Windows operating system. That includes Linux and Mac. Yeah. The article is on, um, uh, I think it's on Tweak Town. I got to find it, but I'm going to leave the link in the description box to show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, what do we got here? Since we're rolling here, let me, let me knock, knock these out real quick. Get this out of the way. All right, listen to this. Let me close this down. Shut you down real quick. Get you out of the way. Okay, and get you out the way. All right. Now, let's roll here. Yeah, Call of Duty can run on the Steam Deck, <clears throat> and um, you um, uh, you you got to install Windows. But this article from PC Games N uh, brought up a point that Valve needs to update the uh, the, uh, the anti cheat from uh, Ricochet. Yeah, they need to do that. So you can play Call of Duty Steam Steam Deck, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you're messing around here. Keep the ball moving here. All right. <clears throat> yep. Okay, let's see. It says here, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Steam Deck compatible? It says, to ensure you don't run into issues playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the Steam Deck. We have low down. We we have low down on the game compatibility. It says here, uh, loading up the the brand new addition to the Call of Duty li uh, lineup won't be straightforward process on the Steam Deck, as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 requires you add Windows 11 to your Valve's handheld arsenal. Re equip your Steam Deck with the Windows operating system will involve a series of elaborate steps. But once complete, you can get to take taking down your enemies on on the go in no time it says call of duty modern warfare 3 system demands a colossal 100 150 gigs worth of install space before you can take on solo campaign or blast your way through online matches with friends and strangers alike picking up one of the best micro sd cards for the steam deck will ensure you have enough space storage space at your at your disposal especially if you're if you if you're equipped with uh, with the 64 gig model of the PC gaming handheld, they always do that. They always go for the um, the 64 gig model, but the 64 the 64 gig model is no joke. It says uh, yes, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is playable on the Steam Deck. However, you will need to install Windows 11 to run it due to the game's inclusion of Ricochet anti-cheat technology. So the release of Call of Duty Mark. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 marks the end of the Call of Duty exclusivity with Activision Blizzard and its Battle.net game launcher. As a result, this latest addition in the long run up, long line of COD games is available on Steam, making it easier for this for Steam Deck users to pick up this brand new first person shooter. However, even though it's never been easier to access this brand new COD game, running it on the handheld will require a few extra steps. It says Modern Warfare 3 comes integrated with Ricochet anti-cheat technology, 
And while that means good th good things for those who want a fair fight on the battlefield, it does mean that the latest COD games won't run natively on Steam Deck. In order to get around this, your Steam Deck will require the installation of Windows 11, which can be tricky process. It says uh, getting window getting the Windows operating system to run operating system to run on your handheld requires the usage of a separate micro SD card to boot Windows or setting up your handheld to dual boot uh, Steam OS and Windows. Either process involves a series of elaborate steps and while it can can get around ricochet it does it doesn't facilitate the absence of any performance issues. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 may still have on the Valve handheld and then it says here where Valve come in. Okay Valve this is for you. It says until Valve provides an update or developers or, or develop a version of Proton that that's compatible with Ricochet's anti-cheat engine. Okay Valve you got some work to do. Anyway it says here Call of Duty Modern Warf Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 may be, be may may be better left for your desktop PC for the inevitable inevitable uh, future. <laughs> and it says here the release of Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare 3 release date is closer than ever and while likely won't appear on our best Steam Deck games guide, we still have plenty of recommendation that plays perfectly on the go. If you already have plenty to play, pick up one of the best Steam Deck docks to help unlock the full potential of your favorite PC gaming handheld. Okay, Valve, so you have some work to do here. So it says here, until Valve, Valve, it says until Valve provides an update or develops a version of Proton that's compatible <coughs> with Ricochet Anti-Cheat. Okay, Valve Engineers. Anti-Cheat Game Engine. Okay, Valve Engineers. Get busy. You have, you have a job to do. You need to make a Proton that's compatible with the Ricochet Anti-Cheat Engine. Yeah. And we need that update. So we don't have to, um... So we don't... So we can so we can um, what you call it, play uh, Call of Duty. We we buy it from like like you buy it from the store, and once you install it on the Steam Deck, it, it can play right away. Okay, Valve, engineers, developers, you have work to do, but other than that, uh, you got you have to um, install my, uh, Windows on a um, Microsoft uh, on a uh, SD card, and. Um, like when you're doing that dual boot, if you know how to, do, uh, if you know how to do, if you got experience um, doing doing installing two operating systems on a hard drive on a desktop PC, it's the same process with the uh, SD card. So if you're used to that, if you're used to doing that, then installing Windows on the SD card shouldn't be a problem. So that's what you need to do to get Call of Duty running on the Steam Deck. Okay? Yeah. And ever since Microsoft won the um, the Activision uh, uh, trial between the FTC, the CMA, and the UK, uh, when they gave the, the, street, the, the streaming rights to, uh, to Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft, um, one, one, of the, uh, one of the things that it brought up is that um, one of, the, one of the rules was uh, Call of Duty must be distributed to non-Windows operating systems. So that's like Mac and Linux. Yeah. So Ubisoft is responsible for that. But other than that, yeah. You can play Call of Duty on your Steam Deck. Yeah. <laughs> so Valve, you and your engineers got some work to do. We need the, your 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 Steam Deck fan base need this update. It says until Valve provides an update or develop a version of Proton that's compatible 
with the Ricochet anti-cheat engine. Yeah, Valve. Yeah, busy. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, on the Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Tarsak. Come on. Peace.